All right, everyone, QB King 77 here again, here with uh, my Samsung Epic 4G Touch, here with a review video of the syndicated ICE ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. So definitely a very awesome ROM. This is uh, just booted up. So uh, initial, obviously, you got your decision whether you want the TouchWiz version or the Go Launcher. So depending on which ROM you flash, you do uh, have your choice, but I do have a how-to video in case you need to know how to. I'll post a link to that in the description of the video. But anyways, uh, as you can see, it boots up, original, um, basically looks of it. You got different icons right there, look more like ice cream sandwich icons. Got an awesome, very, very cool ACS background right there. So definitely a very nice themed job on the background. Up in the notification bar, as you can see, you have nice blue theme up at the top overall it's going to be a, a blue theme um nice battery icon with the battery percentage next to it so it lets you know what your battery is at you got blue signal bars six of them um sorry not six five five of them and you have the 3g icon that lights up blue i'm going to go ahead and go to my browser real quick to show you the color when it lights up so as you can see it lights up nice and blue otherwise i'm going to go ahead and swipe down on the notification bar um, as you can see right there, you got some awesome icons right there, very cool themed. Got a nice uh, background to them, nice texture background, as well as they light up blue when you select it. So as you can see, lights up blue. Uh, otherwise, um, nice other notification bar, the rest of it, nice black theme to it. Very cool there. As you can see, nice ACS emblem down at the bottom, very cool theme. Um, nice blue bar as well. So just an overall nice theme notification bar up at the top. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit menu, go to settings, scroll down. As you can see, the whole settings menu is themed as well. Scroll down, nice blue over scroll glow that goes very well with the theme. So as you can see, blue over scroll glow, you have a bunch of lock screen options. But before that, I'm going to go to about phone. And as you can see, Android version 2.3.4 right there. And you it does come with the lost kernel. So just a heads up there, this ROM does include the lost kernel. Uh, otherwise, you got build number syndicated ICE. So you know you're running the syndicated ICE ROM right there. Um, so just a heads up there, let you guys know what you are running. Um, but otherwise, you do have themed options. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the lock screen settings. Go to lock screen settings, lock screen style, and you got a list of, I believe there's 11, something like that, but you got rotary unlock. Go ahead and check that one out. As you can see, nice ACS background right there, um, rotary unlock. You have AOSP unlock. Same as rotary, just a uh, different style, as you can see. You also have 4-tab unlock, same as Rotary, just with shortcuts to the phone and messaging app. Um, you also have Honeycomb Style, which is very cool. Um, just got the little circle, you bring it outside the bigger circle. As you, as you can see, all of them have the nice ACS emblem behind them, so very nice. Same as Rotary, Rotary Revamp, same as Rotary, just got a shortcut to messaging app right there. You also have Lens Unlock, which is just like the MIUI Unlock, just no shortcuts. So just drop it down and it unlocks it. And Stock Original Epic Unlock, Epic 4G Unlock. As you can see, nice ACS icon that lights up blue when you do press it, so that's very cool. You can go up or down with it. And you also have the Puzzle Unlock. I know a lot of people do like this unlock. So very nice theme there. As you can see, Syndicated Ice represent what ROM you're running. Go ahead and just bring that on over and unlocks it, so very cool. You have the glass unlock, which is same as Galaxy. The uh, stock lock screen, just no shortcuts. And then obviously you have the stock Samsung Galaxy S2 unlock screen, just like that with the shortcuts that do pop up, messaging and missed call, as always. And you have the MIUI unlock, which is just like this. You got unlock, you got shortcut to phone, and shortcut to your messaging application. So just like that, those are all of your lock screen options. So definitely, you have a bunch of different ones that you can choose from. It uh, definitely looks nice. As you can see, I'm going to go to my app drawer. You do have a bunch of themed icons. So as you can see, you got Gmail icon themed, galleries themed. Go ahead and keep going. You've got, um, let's see, you have the Sprint Hotspot hack, which means the native hotspot hack is going to work for you. So when you go to that, you will be able to tether. I'm not sure if 4G works or not. I know with when it was first got, when it first started working, you can only do it with 3G. So definitely, I'm not sure if it's 3G only still or not. Definitely check that out. But otherwise, um, just nice themed um, applications. As you can see, the messaging icons themed. 
You also have a themed contacts icon as well as a themed phone icon, and you have an awesome dialer, as you can see right there. Nice ACS shield in the background, and uh, just an overall very cool themed dialer. Very awesome. Definitely be sure to check that out when you flash the ROM, which I'm sure you will, of course. Uh, but anyways, other than that, that's just a quick overview of the ROM. Definitely, it's really fast, really snappy. I have no lag whatsoever when I have ran this ROM, when I did some testing with it. Uh, it's got memory tweaks, battery tweaks, speed tweaks. Just overall should be um, faster. When you go to the camera, just a heads up, I'm going to go to the camera app. And if I wanted to take a picture, um, to zoom in, you don't use the volume buttons. You actually just kind of pinch zoom. As you can see, you got the pinch zoom right there. So that's just your option to zoom in. So if you wanted to zoom in, you pinch zoom. I believe the volume up and down will actually take a picture. So let's see. Yeah. So volume up and down actually take the picture. It's with the modified camera application, but pinch zoom to zoom in. Just a heads up if someone ran into that issue and didn't know what to do, that's how you fix that. Um, otherwise, um, it has a little different font as well. I'm sure you guys noticed that, but definitely a very cool font. Uh, overall, a really clean, very nice themed. I do enjoy this theme a lot. Blue is my favorite color, so definitely something that I do like. Um, but definitely, obviously, it has CRT screen off animation right there. So very nice. Otherwise, definitely be sure it doesn't have carrier IQ. That's just a, that's another very big thing to know about the ROM you run. It doesn't have carrier IQ. In case you're interested in what carrier IQ is, I do have a video. I can link that in the description of the video as well. But anyways, if you do have any questions at all, um, let me know what you think of this ROM as well. Leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to see what you guys think. Let me know if you're running this ROM, how it is for you. I would, I will uh, gladly like to see how you guys like this ROM, as, hopefully as much as I like it. Uh, but anyways, uh, be sure to uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and follow me on Facebook or Twitter. And thanks for watching.